Okay, so now let's go ahead and sketch some graphs. We're gonna be given some slope intercept equations and we're gonna use them to graph. So let's start with number seven. This is your slope because it's the number next to the x. And this one, notice I'm gonna include the sign because it tells me what kind of number it is. This is your y-intercept. Your y-intercept is always your starting point. It's always where you're gonna begin. So I'm gonna begin by putting a dot, add y equals negative two. So right here. My slope is seven halves. That tells me that I gotta rise seven and I gotta run two. So from right here, from my y-intercept, that's where you do the rise over run. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Now you always wanna get points on the opposite side, but I can already tell it's not gonna fit. But if I did, instead of going up and right, I could also go down seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then left two. So it'd be more or less over here. Okay, so there's your line. And then just connect your dots and there's your line. Let's go to number nine. Y equals negative five. That's already kind of little bell on my brain. I don't see Y and X. You see number seven had both letters, Y and X. Here, I just see a Y. So I'm already thinking special line, hoy or vux. Well, it's gotta be hoy, because it's the only one that ends with a Y, so hoy. So, the only number that's given to me is that it's crossing negative five on the y-axis. So here's the y, I go look for negative five, there it is. And the h tells me, hey, you gotta draw a horizontal line right there. So there it is. And there's your graph. Let's go to 11. y equals 1 fourth x. Hmm, what's the y-intercept? This is my slope. My y-intercept's gotta be zero, that's why it ain't there. So, I put a dot at zero. It's telling me to rise one and run four. So I'm gonna go up one, one, two, three, four. So I went up one, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna do the same thing, but in the opposite direction, so I don't have to guess where my line's gonna land. I'm gonna be accurate. So instead of up one, I'm gonna go down one. Instead of right four, I'm gonna go left four. And there's your line. And let me see, that's even. You should have done that for homework, okay? But just FYI, X and a number, special line, box. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go to the X axis now. Here's my X axis. I'm gonna look for the five, there it is. And the V tells me, draw a vertical line. So that's what the graph is gonna look like there. Make sure you check your work. 